All right, everybody, what's going on? What's going on? We about to get started. This young lady right here has a question, and we about to jump right into it. Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. How y'all like the sound? How y'all like the sound? Well, you know, I I got the new Rodecaster Pro too, and uh, I got it for my truck, but I still got the OG right here, the Rodecaster. The original roadcaster set up at my home location at my desk at my uh you know in my uh office right now which is still pretty good is there's no reason for me to pack this up and get rid of it because it still does what it's supposed to do it even makes this microphone right here which is cheap sounds good it does it sounds real good and I like it. So, of course, I'm going to keep the OG. But uh, it's not about the Roadcaster or the Roadcaster 2 right now. It's about what this this commenter said. I, did I say welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show? Thank you for everybody for listening. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of jam, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification when... I drop videos on the daily. Let's do it. So this young lady has a question. Let's hear what she has to say. Hold on. Y'all need help. Which um GPS should I get? Do that. The Garmin or this Ram McNally? And why? All right, there it is. What is the best trucker GPS? Well, I'm going to tell you from my experience because I, I can't tell you from everybody else's experience, but my experience is valid when it comes to GPS. And yes, when I was a rookie back in the day, I pretty much asked the same question, but of course I didn't come on social media to ask it. I just pretty much watched my trainer. Now, my first trainer, garbage. Yeah, he, and as a matter of fact, he had one of those garbage ass cobra gps which was awful it really was no updates for it every time it would recalculate it would recalculate the wrong route it would take me down instead of taking me down i-9 it would take me down a residential route it was more like a car gps and i asked the guy i was like bro what's the matter with the gps is this a is this a GPS for a car or is it for a truck? He, no, 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 no. It's for a truck. And if you need to use it, go and use it. But if not, you can go ahead and use the drive, the uh the 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 iDrive or whatever the fuck uh US Express called their their navigation system, which that sucked too. That the the system that they had, that pretty much sucked too. So with that said. I, I did get the same GPS. I thought it was just something wrong with it. Maybe it wasn't updated or anything like that. But the one that I got, which was the top of the line model, but it was it was crap. Come to find out, Cobra don't even support GPSs no more. They don't even make GPSs no more. And the model that I got was maybe like two years ago. Now, again, this is me being naive picking up a GPS, right? So that's when I went and started doing my research and everything. Of course, you know, I, I didn't come on and say, hey, everybody, what's the best GPS? Yada, yada, yada. Basically, what I did, I, I went to YouTube because back then YouTube was to play was the place for information for truck drivers. You know, now... You know, everybody runs over to TikTok and think that TikTok is is the Bible now, which it really isn't. But anyway, let's continue on. So I throughout the information that I got, the Ram and Nally pretty much won me over. Even though I had a Garmin GPS and I and I actually did a Garmin GPS review, uh you know, back in the day, make sure you look for that in the archives because that's one of my popular videos right there. Everybody was asking me about it. It was up and down. It was because I was driving and all that good stuff. Go, go watch it. It's funny. Anyway, um, 
Durant McNally pretty much won me over because of the fact that Durant McNally had the Atlas, right? So I said, well, any company that makes a good ass Atlas, their GPS will be will probably be top standard, which it was. I got the 730 seven years ago. And to this very day, I still use it. But let me tell you, but let me tell you why I got the Garmin though. So I was it, one night I was on a low, I was heading, I was in Chicago or Illinois, and all of a sudden my 730 conked out because the plug was 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 uh, how, how can I say burned into the lighter or melted in the lighter or whatever the case. So I was on a low and I was like, man, maybe I should go ahead and get me update, you know, get an updated GPS anyway, which I did. So I ran to Love's and got the new 750 model, black, crisp, clean, bells, whistles, all that. All right. So I kind of got accustomed to it. I was like, okay, I like it. I even made a video about it. I was like, yo, this is a good GPS. I'm going to fuck with it. We're going to ride. We're going to roll. And I'm, I'm going to continue to support Ram and Nally. Well, six months down the line, it caught out. And I didn't understand why. I, I, I thought it needed updated. So I, I updated it. I thought it needed to be uh factory reset it i factory reset it i thought I, I thought of a lot of things and it just wasn't it, it wasn't giving me no no it, it, it wasn't giving me no work so of course i was on the load when it happened and i ran back over to loves being that it's already six seven months in i couldn't exchange it so i had to turn around and get me another GPS. At that time, Garmin was the last resort. And to this day, Garmin still do the damn thing. Now, there's some pros and cons to the Garmin. Yes, there's some things that I like and some things that I don't like with the Garmin. But, you know, for, in for all intents and purposes, Garmin still do the damn thing. So... I said, well, since I can't do nothing with the Ram and Nally other than make it into a paper rate, I went back to my 730. I went back to uh, Amazon. I got another uh, lighter plug for it, plugged it up, popped it on, and boom, it works. It's awesome. <laughs> so needless to say, I got two GPS working in my in, in my truck at the same time. So, of course, I got the OG 730 and I got the new Garmin. Now, when you go in, people say, well, why not? You know, what size should I get? Should I get the 10-inch model? Should I get the 7? Listen, let me tell you something. All right. The only reason to get the 699 10-inch model if you got points. If you got $700 in points spend that shit on that all right but if you don't you really don't need that much real estate taking up all that window space all you need is the seven inch model it it it, it works just as good all right now for a person to get a damn tablet size a tablet size gps like i said the only reason to get it if you got points for it if you don't got points for it, then leave it alone because $700 for that, for a GPS, I mean, paying over $300 for a GPS is still much though. Okay. But in any case, a lot of old school drivers, a, a lot of, a lot of old school drivers is going to pretty much tell you, Hey, uh, you don't need a GPS. All you need is the Atlas. No, sir. This is the, this is the millennial. This is modern times now. You're going to need a truck specific GPS. 
You're not going to need one on your phone. You're not going to need no apps or anything like that. There's any, any ways that you're trying to cheap out of a good GPS, don't do it. All right? The reason why I say don't do it with the apps because your phone could lose data and then that's it. What you going to do? What you going to do when you're in one of those rural areas and you don't have no data service and you call yourself trying to get a, you know, trying to get your GPS to work? It ain't going to work. So you need a truck specific GPS. I'm going to say Garmin as my top go getter as Ram McNally will be second okay all right that's my thoughts on the gps what's you guys thoughts on the gps what do you guys have do you have a garmin or do you have a ram and nally specifically let me know in the comments below and do you guys agree with me on that you know what i'm saying because like i said a lot of old school drivers is going to be like yo go and get yourself a go and get yourself an atlas you can't go wrong with an atlas which true you cannot go wrong with an atlas, okay? But while you're driving, it's kind of hard to route out <laughs> while you're driving, which, you know, you probably might have to route out prior to driving, you know, read a map and all that other good stuff. Reading a map is essential to the truck driver. I'm going to say that, yes, but still... With modern technology, GPSs are here to stay. In the beginning, GPSs was kind of messed up now, but now their routing is a little bit better. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's a little bit better. Garmin will be number one in my book. Ram and Nally was still, my 730 still doing the damn thing, so I'm biased. And I'm still with the 730, but they don't make it no more. It's discontinued. If you do have a 730, make sure you keep it updated because the same maps that they're updating for the new ones do work for the 730. All right, that's it. That's all gone. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids who went pop. Def to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, could bars, you got bops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, bum, bum. Elephant to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.